हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू क्रेजी साइंस हब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर फाइव ऑफ क्लास सिक्स दैट इज मेटीरियल सेपरेटिंग मेथड्स लेट अस गो टू द लेसन ऑब्जर्व दिस पिक्चर केयरफुली चिल्ड्रन व्हाट हैपेंड हियर ए कैट हैज थ्रोन ऑल द ऑब्जेक्ट्स डाउन एंड इट इज running through a window after that a girl came to the kitchen and she has shocked that some of the objects have broken and some objects were not what do you think of these children which objects might have broken and which might not have broken guess your answer and note down in your notebook if you don't know the answer you can look at the table here objects that would have broken cup glass pots objects that would not have broken stainless steel plate spoons utensils which are made up of steel okay let us go through the lesson can you tell why some objects break and some don't in our day to day life we use several objects for different activities these objects are made up of different materials so some objects are breaking and some objects are not breaking for example body of the pen is made of plastic whereas its clip is made of iron now we are going to do an activity to find the materials used to make different objects let us have a look at this table first object is door what is door made up of children wood metal rubber paint second object knife wood stainless steel iron similarly remaining objects also you just know down all the materials which are used to make different objects in your notebook what you came to know by doing this activity there are many objects in our surrounding such as chairs tables cycles bullock carts utensils clothes tires water bottles stones etc we see that different objects are made of different materials some objects are made of one material and some are made up of more than one material now we are going to do the second activity this activity is meant to find the objects made from different materials now we are using the metal to prepare utensils chairs cots pans and we use plastic to make bags chairs combs buckets and glass mirrors window panes spectacles in a similar way remaining wood cotton leather ceramic rocks are also used to prepare different different objects by completing this table we came to know that same material can be used to make different objects for example wood is a material it is used to make both tables and chairs each object is used for special purpose so we need to know the properties of materials as well as the properties of objects to decide which material is used for making an object some materials are hard some are soft some are shiny and some are non shiny we use different materials for different purposes based on their properties now we are going to discuss the different states of the material in the previous chapter water we have studied the three forms of water and the relation between them do you remember it i have provided the link of chapter water in the description box you can check it in the box some materials change their state from solid to liquid liquid to gas on being heated and from gas to liquid liquid to solid on being cooled 
we sort materials as solids, liquids and gases based on their state at normal temperature. Then how to identify the different states of materials children? Let us read this. Certain materials change their shape according to the shape of the containers they are put into while some retain their shape. Those materials which change their shape are liquids such as oil, milk, water, kerosene etc. Those materials which do not change their shape are solids such as wood, rock, brick, plastic objects and vegetables etc. Still many objects are there which do not change their shape. Now we are going to discuss the special character that is sinking and floating character of different objects. Do you know what is meant by sinking? Sinking means to go down towards the bottom of a liquid or a soft substance. Then what is meant by floating? To move slowly on water or in the air. We all know that some objects will sink in water while some others float. Let us do an activity to find which object sinks and which object floats. For this activity we need some materials such as tomato, brinjal, potato, iron nail, sponge, wood, stone, leaf, piece of chalk. Now let us do this activity. Take a bowl of water and test each and every object which is given here. First you take tomato and leave it in the water. Observe what happens later. Brinjal. Next potato. Next iron nail. And you note down all your observations in the given table form. After completion of this activity, we are uh, going to find some things. That is stone, iron nail, piece of chalk, potato or uh, sinking in water, whereas sponge, wood, leaf, paper, brinjal will float in the water. Next, see the same activity is given for you here. Take some water in a wide mouth bowl, put an iron nail in it. What do you observe? It starts sinking. Absolutely, the iron nail will sink in the water. But when you place an empty iron tin in that bowl, what happens? It starts floating. Why Nana? Why it is floating? What do you conclude from this activity? Some materials in one shape will sink in water but float on water when they are in another shape. The materials that can sink can be made to float by changing their shape. But all the materials that float cannot be made to sink. Next, here is another character of material that is solubility and insolubility. Do you know what is meant by solubility? The material which dissolves in a liquid is called as soluble and the materials which are not uh, dissolved in the liquid are called as insoluble materials. For this we need to do some activity. Take 5 beakers with water and add small quantities of sugar, salt, sand, chalk powder and sawdust individually. What do you notice after some time? You might have noticed that some materials dissolve when mixed with water. These materials are said to be soluble in water. The materials that do not dissolve are said to be insoluble in water. What you have noticed after doing the activity? Sugar, salt are soluble in water. Whereas sand, chalk powder and sawdust are insoluble in water. Do you know this children? A solvent is a liquid that dissolves other substances in it. Water can dissolve more substances than any other solvents. So, it is called as universal solvent. 
who is called as universal solvent yes water is called as universal solvent this is another topic that is mixtures which is a main topic of our chapter 5 combination of one or more than one substance forms a mixture here are some examples given for your reference first one tea what is tea made up of milk tea powder sugar ilachi what is a laddu made up of sugar bundi ilachi ghee what is lemon juice made up of children lemon juice sugar salt water what is concrete made up of sand cement gravel iron and water soil soil is a mixture of humus fine sand clay coarse sand and gravel these are all the examples for mixtures some mixtures are natural like soil some mixtures are man made like laddu lemon juice tea concrete and so on these are all the examples of mixtures and finally we are going to conclude this part 1 in the next part we are going to discuss the different methods used to separate these mixtures they are hand picking winnowing sedimentation decantation sieving filtration crystallization distillation sublimation and chromatography let us wait for that part and be well thank you for watching this video